Dan Perry here with another Dan on Tech command prompt video. In this video, we're going to look at the net command. We're not going to actually do examples. There's a lot to the net command, and we would uh, or could do probably six or eight videos on the net command, and we may revisit it later on. The net command is really designed for working on networks and it allows us from a command line to do a lot of things that now in Windows you can do from a GUI, but you do it from a command line. Well, why wouldn't you just do it from the GUI? Well, when we get into scripting later on, we'll find that we could write scripts to automate tasks setting up network connections, setting up shares, setting up network sessions. We can even have those run in their login script so that when they log into the computer, it sets up their environment for them. When I do net with nothing else, I actually get the help. And it shows something fairly simple here. Well, what you do with the net command is if you want additional help, you do net and then whatever you want help on. So if I say net computer, it will give me the syntax of what I can do. So I could add a computer to the network, or I could delete an already added, not to the network actually, but to my list of shared computers. I could set up a share. If I do net share with nothing else in this case, I actually see the current shares. So I have some administrative shares. That's all I have on this machine. If I do net share slash question mark, I'll get the help and it would tell me how I can use the share command. So I could add a share and give it a name and then the path to the share. I could set access rights, read, change, full, set access rights for users, groups of users. Similar to going into the gra graphical interface and setting up a share, I can actually do it from a command line. If I do net start, I see all of the currently started sessions or, or, or services rather, and I could start or stop a service from here with the name. Net use will allow me to access a shared computer or another computer and a share on another computer. And I can have that be persistent so that it every time I start the machine starts that share. If you don't want it to be persistent, that's one of those times where you could have it in say a login script so it would create that share every time a user logs in, that would give the administrator some flexibility. So if he needed to change the drive letter or add or stop using a share, they, he could add it to the startup script or take it out. So the net share command or net use command allows us to use shares on other computers. That gives you a quick overview of the net command we may do some additional videos later on that will show you specifically how to use the more oftenly implemented commands such as the share and the use. Thank you for watching this Dan on Tech video. Please subscribe to this playlist so you don't miss future videos. Please check out and subscribe to our other Dan on Tech channel playlists.